What is going on everyone? Thanks for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W. Well today I'm going to share with you 10 top things that I've picked up after going no fat for about 250 days. In fact I'm getting close to one year but that's not going to stop there. It's been a lifestyle change and I'm going to share with you the 10 attributes that I picked up and it can definitely add value to your lifestyle. All right, let's say if you are on that NoFap journey, well, congratulations to you. I'd like to hear your story with your journey of success. Do you want to be part of the 1% or do you want to be part of the 99% of all other males that follow that same trap? Now, I want to be different and that's why I'm on that journey for success. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and share with you the 10 things that I've learned so starting with number one, it's uh, learning how to be bold, right? I mean, after 250 days of just being on NoFap, I have stopped looking at the phone screen every morning and I'm using my energy on other things. Now, with how I am today, my mindset's all about being bold every day, just making sure that I get the shit that I've had planned done throughout the day. And that's what separates me from others. And I remember falling into that trap of just doing what I used to do before. And it wasn't a healthy lifestyle. So it has definitely taught me how to be bold. To learn how to just do things, take action. And that's why I'm so happy with just that number one aspect of being bold in life. Now, the second key thing that I've learned is that I'm more of a risk taker now, right? I mean, I remember before when I was on that non-fat journey, I mean, I was not taking any risk whatsoever, but in the year 2021 now, I mean, I've been making some power moves. I mean, starting up with Amazon e-commerce, I don't know how well that would go, right? But I at least just took the initiative to just pursue it. Um, doing things that I'm not used to doing. For example, waking up in the morning and just running long distance. And once I'm done with that, I'll start working out. So I'm taking risk. I'm not afraid. I'm not trying to be complacent because I know that when I make these lifestyle changes, it will shape me into becoming a man where I have a mission and purpose that I live by. And that's what's so unique with this whole NoFap journey. I am now focusing my energy on the things that really add value and just with risk taking that has been such a benefit with my lifestyle because we as men we got to take risk in this world and not be so complacent so that's one of the big benefits with no fat now the third thing is that I've learned to become very disciplined right I don't need anyone telling me what to do I have a lifestyle that I'm now living by for example Every other morning, I try to wake up in the morning to do my my ritual, right? Where I would hydrate myself, I would read, I would do my meditation prayer, and then I would go out for a run when it's dark, when the sun is not out. And I do that on a consistent basis. And in fact, in 2021, I've actually run more than 300 miles already. So that just tells you it's not a goal that I set, but it's how I achieve to obtain that goal right it's by doing miles consistently every day and getting to that level right you can't just throw out a number but really you have to understand how you're going to achieve that each day and that's what discipline is all about doing things that you have plans for without having anyone tell you but yourself now the fourth key piece is consistency I mean I remember when I was not doing no fab I mean, I would always fall into that trap of doing what I would do, looking at the digital screen, and that would really take away my Kundalini, my energy throughout the day. And I remember just trying to pick up running. I mean, I started running ever since 2016, but I was never consistent, right? But now, the fact that I've been on NoFap for like 250 days, I mean, since like October of like last year, I've been consistently just running every other day. And now... I'm on that consistent path where I'm able to just do it as a normal daily basis and my dopamine levels have changed where now if I don't run I feel groggy throughout the day so it's definitely a lifestyle change with the discipline and consistency that's now part of my my habit 
Now, number five is that I'm now a man on a mission and my purpose, right? Now that I have done NoFat for 250 days, I have a mission and purpose in place, right? We're not all born to, you know, wake up every morning to release our Kanawini. I mean, how I see it is I've been placed on this planet to do what I'm supposed to do in terms of what I'm skilled at and it's great to see my mission be played out with my skills and it really aligns with my purpose and I feel good about that and it makes me feel like a confident man and I just wanted to share that with you too because when you are on NoFap you will start focusing more on your purpose and your vision with where you want to be in life and that's very important as a man in trying to understand where you want to be in the future. Alright so that's uh, number five. Now number six is I'm less of an overthinker. I mean, I tend to make decisions with emotions in the past, but now I don't think so much about stuff. I just get shit done, right? I mean, I'm more action oriented and that's great because I'm able to one, get tasks done, two, I don't overthink, and three, I feel good about myself. So for example, each night before I go to bed, I write down daily tasks on the whiteboard for tomorrow's plan and the next day when I wake up I just strike out all of the action items that I've come out with and once I'm able to strike out mostly everything I feel good about myself and it takes away the overthinking aspect so that's one of the benefit of NoFap as well now next on the list number seven is that I'm more data driven right I make decisions based on data I let the data tell the story and I'm less of making decisions with my own emotions that's very important in life because you know in life we all have to make practical decisions not to say that that's always the right way to go but by using data having that foresight rather than letting the emotion take place then you will think less about the negative implications but you're making rational decisions based on data so that's what's very important I mean when you think about data-driven decisions, I mean, if you have goal targets, like let's say if you're getting close to like your 300 mile target to complete, or let's say if you want to bench a certain amount of weight by this certain time frame in terms of strength building, you have to make data-driven decisions looking at what the data tells you. So that's what I've learned and it has definitely helped me with the consistency, the discipline, and that's what I want to share with you as another positive element to NoFap. Next on the list is that I'm more confident. That's number eight. Throughout this journey, I feel less submissive. I'm more confident with my capabilities, with my skills. I mean, I never knew that I was able to make videos on YouTube just sharing myself uh, in terms of what I know. But now, just me being able to speak on the camera, I, I feel like... I'm not nervous or anything like that. I just let it out without overthinking. And with this whole NoFap journey, I'm able to focus my energy on the things that really matter and add value. And for those reasons, I'm more confident in myself. And that's all going to come out with the backbone of staying healthy, eating right. So I highly recommend that you uh, focus on personal fitness, nutrition, and just having that spiritual side built. Okay? Now... Number nine is that I'm open to try new things out, right? So similar to my story about opening up an Amazon business e-commerce where I'm selling like merchandise at this time through different vendors. I mean, I'm open to try new things and it's aligned with uh, being bold and taking risk, right? I mean, before when I was not doing no fat, I was so complacent, I didn't really think so much about all of this. I was trying to just be more of a smart ass, thinking like, hey, I won't get anywhere with all these if I try it. But now, you never know if you never try, right? So that's why I've been just open to do more things and you learn from that experience. That's how I see it. So it's always going to be a value add because that experience will come into play. Now, the last on the list for. 10 benefits to no fat is that I'm happy, right? I mean, I feel like each morning I'm able to spend my energy on the things that really matter and not spend it on wasted time looking for an episode on your phone. And I'm able to 
focus on the whiteboard to see what I had already planned. And let's say if I have new plans, I can write it down and get it done and take action. And that's where I'm headed. You know, I'm focused and aligned on my mission and purpose. And as a man, that's how we are designed. That's what our DNA is all about. And if we want to be different, what separates us from others, that's why being part of the 1% of men who do this kind of things will catapult you up into a different growth mindset. So I just wanted to share my insights with you on the top 10 benefits to NoFab. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave it down below. Thank you so much.